What's good? What's good? What's good, good, man? How you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. Let's start this off right. Mm Mm-hmm. Man, how you doing, man? It's it's been a it's been a minute, champ. Yeah, no, it's 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 a crazy time, man. It's it's wild to be celebrating a birthday in quarantine. I know uh, mine's at the end of the month, and man, awesome. I don't know what's gonna happen. If only, if only you were a tourist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though. It's, all good. It's, it's it's the month that counts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get into it. I mean, right off the bat, it was since we're talking about your birthday, uh, you just dropped that single today, Thankful. Yeah, yo. Um, if you can go a little bit into that song and kind of what it meant to you, I know it was a it was a more personal song to you. Yeah. Um. Let's see, man. You know it's crazy. Uh, I told myself I was done with YouTube beats. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes man when you just on youtube fam like you just like i got a shitload of beats i work with producers from from everywhere you know what i'm saying but i heard that beat i'm like damn and I, <laughs> like and i i think the first verse I already had written this i already had most of the first verse written to another beat or something like that because i always you know drop a birthday track you know what i mean and uh Basically, I don't know that it just fit that beat perfectly. And the second verse came. The song, the song, basically, you know, is, you know, not not only like you know thanking the people that who have inspired me and everything, but it's also a tribute to my my little cousin. He uh, passed away last year on uh, on May May third. You know what I'm saying? He he passed away around you know May third. So my birthday is May first. So that weekend, you know, like the next weekend or whatever, or the Saturday actually, um, uh, you know, he, I mean, he just passed away, you know what I'm saying? And, and it really, uh, put a, I, and the thing about it, I couldn't really, uh, soak that loss in because been, we, for the past, you know, couple of years, we've been losing, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you uh you don't really understand because it's like you're taught to move on you're told to you know stay strong and can continue and you know to move on but it, so you don't really embrace that or 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 let that pain out you know what i'm saying so i, I never really got to do that and um this the song was basically you know me finally letting out some emotions you know from from that from that experience and um just a, a a verse, you know. I said, uh, and I'm sending. Uh, the last thing he posted was my song that I dropped on my birthday, uh, the Fear of God one. That Fear of yeah. God, so I fear no. You know, I dropped that on my birthday last year, and that was the last thing he posted on his Instagram account. And so I said, the last thing he posted was mine. So I'm sending you a verse so you can send back a vibe. And he he was also an artist too, and we never got to, you know, do that do that track, man, and. It, it it you know what I'm saying? So in essence, um the song was a tribute to him, the song was a tribute to, to just this life, man, and knowing that, you know, uh you know, it, it man, things happen, you know what I'm saying? It, and, uh, and it's big, it's it's you're right and it's it's tough to to lose people and to not be able to move on. I know, um, you know, for me personally, I mean, especially with losing a cousin, I, I lost a cousin that when I was 17. Right. Uh, okay. and, and one of those things where, uh, you, you know, sometimes you're not ready to deal with it. Sometimes you just can't deal with it. Um, and then sometimes, like you said, you know, uh, another tragedy happens and, and you don't know really what to do. So uh, being able to process that through music, I think, you know, music gives a lot of people an outlet uh, to do a lot of these things. And I think that that um, really came through in the song. And that was actually the line um, yeah. that really hit me, that line that you just said, the, you know, I'm, I'm sending you a, a verse, you can send me a vibe like that. That really uh, makes a lot of sense when I, like, when I hear that and processing and, and the ways that I've processed as well. Man, you know, it's, you know, and i got a couple songs, like, that's talking about a couple loved ones, you know what I'm saying? Like the song Float On, you know, that that was about a couple loved ones, you know what I'm saying? And um yeah, I just I just, you know, 
send send thoughts, send verses to the sky. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, you know, you know, let them know. You know, they ain't. You know, forgot about them. You know what I'm saying? It's just reflection. You know, and um, that's kind of what the what the thankful was. You know, being thankful for my cousin and also just being thankful for my parents and my supporters and just everybody along the way who have molded me in in some way, shape, or form, whether it was a bad experience that shaped me, whether it, it was a great experience that shaped me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like everything, you know, you, you go through, you know, eventually molds you into what you become, whether it's good, good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So to to be getting the love that I'm getting. Like today, there's so many people <laughs> that I haven't been, even been able to respond to and say happy birthday because there's so many people. So I can only imagine, you know, how, how I get when, you know, you really rise in this shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, but, you know, uh, yeah, just uh, it, okay, yeah, just thankful for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like That's great. And I mean, uh, you know, tying that into what we're going to talk about next, um, you know, you have six six project uh in the works you've had some some singles you've been dropping lately but uh you know what's what's the plan with six six is it you know is it uh gonna be back to you you know you got your heavy storytelling um i know you've got big influences with nas with yeah. <laughs> uh, artists that are that are crazy storytellers and you're one of the the last few you know i mean not last few but right, like right. one of the few that i can point to and be like this guy is, is a heavy storyteller and right. you're um man uh so like just thinking about six for six in my head right now um uh the intro man is is just it's it's similar it's similar to one of one in a sense as far as energy as far as you know the hunger you know what i'm saying and and uh the uh the attacking you know what i'm saying like just Letting it, letting it be known, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, still, like, you know, I'm one of them ones. So the intro comes out with a bang, you know, and um, then I got I got tracks. I got tracks. Like, the the production is a little different, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, got, I got some joints with some bounce on there, you know what I'm saying? And I got a – I actually, you know, got a joint with – I got a joint with uh, Nucky. Uh, a joint with Nucky, Kaleem, um, uh my homie Calhoun and uh, Louis Blaze, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's actually, some name. <laughs> actually, actually, Kaleem's, uh, waiting on Kaleem's verse, and then uh, when Kaleem finished, you know, we gotta get it all together, and um, I, got, I got a track with, uh, I got a track with Pro Steve, RZ, and uh, Y Khalid, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's gonna be dope, you know, so, uh, and then uh, I got a track with Destiny Roberts, so, and yeah, there's a lot of different vibes our, on it. Our joint is just it's just a it's a dope vibe. It's uh it's like eighties eighties feel, you know, you know, eighties <laughs> feel. And then I, I got a track where you know that's uh called Love Ones that's produced by my homie Freemind uh, out of out of Watts. And uh, it's just one of them joints, you know, where it's one of them joints like like a like a float on, but it's not. Yeah, it's like a float on in a sense. So it's kind of tailored like how five for five is in a sense. I'm just but with this with the the at least two of the beat three of oh I got this other track Forever Rain. I forgot it's six tracks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's 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 like the production is just showing you that like yo I could rap I could rap on a lot of different production. You know people like to you know box you in and think you can't rap over these trap beats or think you can't rap over shit with that bang and I you know, kinda of rapping over some joints that bang, but then they still are tailored to 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 me, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, uh, and I mean it is a tough thing, uh I think cause not just cause you have to rap over those beats, but because people are so used to hearing uh kind of mindless stuff over them. So when you're trying to put that into it, it's it's you know it's tough from both sides. But I, I'm definitely excited to hear uh, what you can come up with with that. Um, so we're gonna jump into these quarantine questions. Um, I also want to let anybody know that's watching um, or that jumps in that they can ask their own questions and we'll get to them uh, towards the end of this. I'm about to send. I'm about to send a live to uh, 
to to some to some people right now and get try to get, try to get people you know tap tapping in tapping in with us you know what I mean like it's uh yeah man it's um yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely um so. What we're going to do, um, we're just going to go over a few of these. Uh, this is kind of what our segment is all about here with the quarantine questions. Um, and they're just kind of some, some questions that uh, came to me of just kind of what's been going on with everything that's been going on in the world. So the first one is, uh, you know, when you're, when you're forced to kind of self-isolate and, and be alone and, and kind of uh, the longer you are alone with yourself, the weirder things can kind of get with you. Right. So what's something that you've done in this, in this time where like you kind of didn't realize it until you were in it, but you thought like, man, what am I doing right now? Like, this is so weird. Like whether it's like singing or like doing some weird thing that you, you just hadn't done before. Like, like you mean, um, so, so you mean like, just musically or, or or like through this quarantine thing or no like... yeah i'm just talking about like personally like i know you know living for living alone for a while there's there's right. certain things to do like you know if you're just just weird odd things that you're doing around the house like oh. and what's something that like yeah like you've been that you caught yourself doing and was like what am i doing right now man honestly i never thought i never i never paid sometimes i never really pay attention to that shit you know shit this happens sometimes you know um uh, man definitely singing you know what i'm saying because uh it's something that you know i actually do sing on certain some tracks you know what i'm saying or you know and you know i feel like when i really find my voice which i kind of do on like brown sugar example you know what i'm saying right, right. so it's like someday i want to fly like i was singing on that joint and uh, I got a, I got joints I'm working on now that I'm that I'm gonna try to sing on, you know. And it's like, it's uh, that's definitely one of the things that I do out of, that is, is try to sing. And um, also, man, just the stuff I watch, I would say, you know. Okay. Saying? Like, like, uh, I, I I can't think of off top what what's something that that I watch that that I probably won't usually watch, but. It's like, I don't know, just random YouTube videos that pop up. I might watch it and be looking like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? You know what yeah, like, like, what's, what's going on, you know? And, uh, yeah, that that's that's one that I don't know if I answered it. You know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so the, the second one is, uh, you know, diets definitely are a part of people's lives, especially in the first few months of the year. You know, everybody's on their resolution or uh, their yeah. diet plan, trying to get that summer body. Um, but you know, quarantine hits and diets go out the window. So what's, what's one food that you either like can't get enough of during quarantine or you just like sat down and ate way too much of Man, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. It's chicken. <laughs> you know, Where it, bro, it's just like, man, you still, still eating like fast food. For sure. You're still eating like just the little snacks, like chips. You know what I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> just a a everything, man. That's what, that's what's what your problem, man. G DQ was good, man. Was good, OG. Shotty was good. Najee was good. But yeah, man, like, yeah, bro. Just everything, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. I mean, and that's the thing is, like, you get you like, especially during these times where you're getting the the like comfort food from it, and like. Man, there's there's definitely been times where like I'll just I'll just go to town on it. Bro, <laughs> tater my, tots for me, my, it's been tater tots. Bro, my eating habits is freaking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I, I ate today. I you know I ate some seafood little broil shit. You know what I mean? That that was good. Uh, yeah, man. I I've been eating foul, bro. I'm telling you, I done ate some weight for sure. But, but, yeah. But, I'm a, I gotta shake that. I gotta shake that shit. I'm trying, trying. I'm trying to come out here, come out here swinging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Um. So you know, live live music has kind of come to a halt now. Um, right. You know, absolutely, and, and we don't know when it's coming back. Uh, but it doesn't stop artists and creatives from still putting their music out there, from getting live music out there. 
Um, what's something during this, this time that you've seen or like that you've done personally that you mm. just thought like, man, that was creative and how they're getting their, their voice out. Well, you know, they, they, I've been a part of like some virtual, uh, like shows, um, and really just me rapping like, like this right here, just, just rapping on zoom, you know what I'm saying? Like a couple of the homies and through events, uh, the homegirl, uh, well, I said homegirl, like the OG Tish Jones, you know what I'm saying? Like someone that, you know, I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? Watching, you know, to see her do her thing. Uh, and when I got into poetry, I got with her and I got into Panama Theater and all that too. And uh, it really shaped, you know, who who I was soon, you know, become as an artist and not only an artist, but, you know, as a as a man, you know what I'm saying? And um, uh, she, she threw, uh, she, well, her first event I didn't I didn't uh, perform at, but uh, recently I, I I read I I read some pieces some poems at on, on on there with the different viewers that they were streaming live on Facebook, but it was from Zoom, and uh, I did some poems on on there, and th it was love. And then I also with uh Niles, with Niles um he had he he had like like almost like fifty some people people from all over. The, you know, uh, like open mic, you know what I'm saying? Like the open mics that have, he throws open mics at uh, Pimento. And, oh, nice. but, but uh, with the, vert, with the Zoom thing, he had like set around 17, some people performing, some people had the stuff set up. Some people were just rapping or singing wherever they're at. And, and those have been really, uh, those like, are the only two things that I've really done. Well, and actually, I did another one on Zoom too. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, like it, with with the homie Easy Easy Beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, man, it, and that was dope. So that, them are two things that I've done. Uh, I've also I actually uh, I don't know if I'm gonna drop. I, I shot a music video to One of One, and um, uh, yeah. With Cam? With Cam, yeah, it's not yeah. a video to one of one. And I'm debating if I want to drop it today uh, or tomorrow morning, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people be tapping in in the morning and it scrolls past their shit, you know what I'm saying? But then I kind of want to drop it because one of one is May 1st, but I don't know if that even fucking matters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I just yeah. don't want to drop it in and not get the looks, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. And I mean, Saturday morning, especially nowadays, like Saturday morning's a time when a lot of people are going to tune in, a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, waking up, looking for something to do, and, and if they see that. Um, Tubby, what's good, man? Um, so I think, uh, you know, music tends to be a big outlet for a lot of people. Um, yeah. but that, that doesn't, uh, you know, some people don't realize that they have kind of some other hidden talents hidden in there. Um, for me, you know, through this all, I started drawing and I didn't really realize that, you know, I, I started doing a lot of comic book drawing and, and really enjoying it. And, uh, and so it's something that like, I never would have thought to do if I didn't just have, you know, endless time. Um, so has there been anything like through this that you kind of found some hidden talent or something that you maybe tap back into? Man, um, off top, you know, I know some that I want to get back into, uh, is, is theater for sure. You know, um, definitely theater is something I want to get back into. You know, I feel like I could have done that really done, did a lot. I just stopped doing it, you know, cause music was something that I really just wanted to do. Um, but uh, for hidden tap, uh, definitely got back to writing in my poetry. I mean, po on my poetry book, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I've been working on a poetry book probably for like four years. So I'm on chapter four right now. And uh, I got a lot of poems, you know what I'm saying? So now I've just been going through editing. I've been writing new poems quick. Uh, that That's one of the main things I, I can honestly say that, that I, because poetry, the creative, the process between from I mean compared poetry compared to the music for me at least is completely different because you're not thinking about the beat you could think about a flow you know what I'm saying but you don't have to rhyme at all you know and right. sometimes on beats you don't necessarily have to rhyme line at the line because because it, it sounds like you rhyme it you could say right when I, at least when I do it you know what I'm saying right. <laughs> you know yeah it, it starts to feel you know more more choppy when you're trying to, to rhyme every line or rhyme yeah. like 
you know? Yeah, and, um, man, I've just been, like, that's one that I've really been tapping into. Um, I, I've really, something I really want to do, honestly, is photography, bro. Um, that's something, that's something, you know, that's something that I want to tap into, but I think my photography, the type of photography I really want to do off top is like, uh, landscape, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, absolutely. I, man, I just, I, I got this book and I'm kind of, at first I was skeptical about getting the book just because of the title. It's like a thousand places to visit before you die. <laughs> and it's like, fuck, what a title, huh? But the, yeah. the shit in there with the traveler that that they that they travel to, bro, is places all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And the pictures are like landscape. You know what I'm saying? And it's just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Of monuments of things that have been there for hundreds of years and shit like that. So yeah. to you yeah. know, I'm you can check out. Um, there's a there's a subreddit called uh, Earthborn, and it's all that type of stuff. It's just it's Word. like stop uh like just landscape people doing like northern lights all these like mountains across the world like it's some of the craziest photos i've ever seen and it's one of the reasons why like i initially wanted to do like one of the big things that i've wanted to do for a long time is landscape and getting more into like uh high depth like going into the mountains going into the forest like seeing some cool stuff out there yeah that that that's that's something that i want to really tap into because i remember like taking dope photos of like buildings and shit with my iPad in high school. So yeah. the photography is something I definitely want to tap into. Um uh, and yeah, that's that's probably that's probably it. Yeah. Sure. Um then the, the last question I have for you here is uh you know as, as as society starts to kind of reopen, um you know it's going to be a slow process, but what is like what's one thing that you're you're real excited to come back into society that, that you're excited for these man. things to open up or uh well man me honestly man i miss performing you know yeah. what i'm saying I, I miss performing i miss you know just just popping out you know what i'm saying and going to different events and just being around people and you know me like when it comes to this i don't know with this whole quarantine thing and everything is I take it seriously because, you know, people have died, you know what I'm saying? And you got to take, you got to be, you got to be, you know, you got to take that into consideration. But then the other side of me is like, man, these motherfuckers are doing some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, so, so it's like, I take it seriously. But then again, I'm like, man, I feel like we've been through a lot worse, you know what I'm saying? I, I yeah. for, some, for some time, I felt like, you know, I, I felt like, you know, you know what media fucking does sometimes, you know, like propaganda and all that shit. But, but then, but then again, you got people that are on the front lines seeing this shit too. So it's like, you, you got to take it into consideration. You can't, you know, be, be, be ignorant towards it. So I, I try to look at it from, from all angles and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, to me, you know, I look at it and I go, I, I think I'd rather look back and think we were over, overly cautious than yeah. look back and think like, all we had to do was stay home. Right. So, man, I, I'm just looking forward to just, just traveling really, you know what I'm saying? And, and just being around, pe being around people, you know, but see, even before this whole quarantine thing, man, like, like I will see people out of shows and all that shit, but then and pop out, uh, you know. But I never, I never have in in my time, like after high school and all that, I was I was never the type to just go hang out with people. You know what I'm saying? Just to be sitting around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at least like, like we going somewhere and that or right. I, I don't know, man. I I just I don't know, like, I I just be home sometimes, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's crazy, uh, my homie Calhoun, he actually said go on tour, and <laughs> I actually didn't, I actually got offered to go on tour, and I'm kind of, that's one thing I regret, is not going on tour, I was supposed to go on tour, uh, you know, you know how I opened up for uh, Sky Zoo and Elza. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, one of the homies, uh, 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 Landon uh, Wordswell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah and um, he offered me to go on tour with him, you know what I'm saying? It just, 
And uh, I I didn't do it because I had, I don't know, man. I just felt like I I wasn't ready. Not not ready to like rock. I know I'm I, what I'm capable, what I was capable of. But like far as just you know what like. I, I didn't want to go by myself, you know what I'm saying? And no, I feel I, that. When my home, when the home, when the homie couldn't go, I, I kind of, it was kind of like I felt like the process might have been rushed or something. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I don't know. I just felt like wasn't the time, and I, I just uh, didn't do it. But I know it would have been dope because I would have been able to in Denver and stuff. I would have been able to connect with my with my nieces, you know what I'm saying? And 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 all of that. That would have been dope. Uh Vinny said you should have came, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know Vinny but did he end up Vinny, did he tour in December and all of that though? Cuz that's when I was supposed to. I I don't, know, I don't know about when you went unless he unless his tour in um late 2019 was canceled and then and then y'all performed, you know what I'm saying with him, but uh, but yeah, man, I, that's, uh, yeah, I didn't tour, but you know, I, I'm just looking back to really getting back to it. Like I missed out on South by Southwest. So, you know, I, I was mad about that. Yeah. Uh, Cause I, I just wanted to cover more ground, but now I'm looking forward to trying to like, if things really do clear up, I'm looking forward to performing, performing at uh like A3C festival, hopefully, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be, that'd be real dope down in Atlanta. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know I know a lot of people like in now, you know what I'm saying? So uh really just getting out more music, uh the six for six EP and um hopefully hopefully not nah, nah uh Vinny, I, I gotta I gotta show you me and me and his text, bro. We was, we was supposed to we, it, the tour was for um early December, you know, for the one I was supposed to go on, you know what I'm saying? Uh I had, you know, right after the Elza show, I had uh, opened up, I had performed with him and all that. Like, he sent me the schedule. We, uh, the, it was um, going to Denver. It was, it was going to uh, Washington and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, but damn, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, just about, just about getting your music out there. And that's yeah, kind of what I wanted to, to allow you to do here kind of at the end is, uh, is to just talk about, uh, you know, what you have coming up with your music. Um, if you have any other uh, lives or stuff you're doing coming up, uh, feel free to, to put those out as well. Man, uh, right, right now, uh, uh, you know, just six for six EP. Man, I'm hoping to get that out this month. Um, probably after this live, I'm gonna go upload. I'm gonna go upload uh, the the one of one music video. Um, and then shit, uh man, I'm I'm also working on a on a mixtape, man, called uh something for the road, you know. And um I got I got joints written to that, I got a few joints recorded to that. Um it's 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 the production on there is real dope so far too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just hoping to get more music out, um more more photo shoots, you know what I'm saying, different photo shoots, uh um, merch obviously and um man like man just just hoping to really you know get get some shit to the people man and, and get some results you know what i mean cuz i i feel like you know in minnesota a lot of us you know we complain about the scene but when you look at all the things that that you've been to haven't like haven't haven't there been more like more artists you know than than actual fans and actual regular people exactly you know what i'm saying and so so my goal is just to really show people that it's more than minnesota so with things like south by southwest with things like a3c festival i want to be able to you know uh show and prove down there so you know when people see those little highlights or those little moments they be like damn yo all right, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's not the only route. Obviously, everybody has right. no right or wrong way. There's so many different unique ways that people have become successful, even people from Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? So, well, that's what you see. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's the Lizzo route. There's Novi mm -hmm. out in L.A. You've got what uh, Rhyme Sayers did here in the cities. I mean, there's, there's a lot of ways that I've seen people rise up. Yeah. 
uh, even in the short time that I've been here to see some of the artists get to the, to the level that they're at. Um, you know, it's, it, it's not, uh, you know, I, I see it all the time too. People complaining about every little thing that happens here and, right. and what you're doing it is just, there's no like wasting energy on complaining that you could be doing your own thing out there and seeing okay. how other people are moving. Like it's, it's easy to, to get caught up in the what's not going on if you're not focused on what you're doing. Right. Exactly. You know, and I don't know, man, just really showing improvement now, bro. I, I feel like I haven't done everything I needed to do here, but I feel like, I feel like, man, it's, it's all about, you know, uh, position of power, you know, uh, just putting yourself, about putting, putting yourself <laughs> <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just putting myself around the right people in, in dope situations and being myself and, you know, just, I mean, I think now it's just really showing and proving consistency uh, and, you know, quality, you know what I'm saying? And getting, just getting better each, each song, hopefully, you know, uh, that, that I th and just getting better as a writer. And I'm, I'm also hoping to get out, you know, my poetry book. Um, it's in the, the title, I'm not going to say the title at all, but, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> It, it's it's uh it's, it's beautiful you know what i'm saying so just really gonna go through and link with some of my mentors and uh send them poems for to see if they can edit for me and or just check it out because i got so many fucking poems um and just get get my fucking right on bro and and just put out put out some dope content man and yeah that's, that's absolutely really, man yeah <laughs> Well, well, thanks for uh, thanks for checking in with us, and uh, everybody, you know, go out buy some Lord Season merch. Mm -hmm. um, check out Thankful. Sure check enough. out uh, one one of one to tonight, tomorrow, whenever it comes, uh, and then be ready for six of six. Mm -hmm. You already know, bro, man. Thank, thank you, bro. I hope you're well. Uh, I hope you know you you keep doing what you're doing, man, because you're 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 great at what you do, bro. Like. Hey, I appreciate that a lot, man. Don't it's always good to see you, and hopefully, you know, when this clears up, we can link up again. You know, oh, if you, yeah. you want to do some photo shoots, you want to do some work, whatever we're going to do. Of course, steakhouse, steakhouse, all that, man. Oh, man, I got to get back. <laughs> Dude, that thing had me a sleep right after. <laughs> but, all right, man, we'll take it easy. I'll see you soon. Just, uh, just, hit, just hit me, man, and – uh. I actually just got like the cover of the six for six and the back cover and, and shit. So I'm gonna get that to you soon. Yeah, send send that over. And uh and send me the link to my, uh my next session shit. I might I might have you come through or something, man. Yeah, for sure. Just hit me up. Yeah, I got I got you, man. Uh let me see who all on here real quick. Uh okay, a lot of people tapped in. Okay. Uh let's see. Um Easy Bees, Vinny, man, what's up? Uh, KPW, what's up, man? Go check out, go check out that nostalgia sense, man. Go check out my boy KPW. Uh, go check out my boy Najee, Vinny Crooks, man. Uh, yeah, Easy Beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, you know. So, thank you, bro. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. <laughs> thank you, man. Uh, thank you, Easy Man. All right, peace, bro. Peace. Yep.